Hey Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what's in store for your December 2024 money and career and business life? We're going to dive in with the tarot, talk a little astrology, and find out. So keep watching. So Cancer, welcome to the channel, or welcome back. So awesome to see you here. So let's first discuss some important astrology that you might want to be aware of in regards to your money and career life. So of course, Mercury is a retrograde until December 15th in Sagittarius, which is your sixth house of work and well-being. Now, I've already done a video on Mercury retrograde. I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video in case you missed it. Check it out. But we're going to talk about it in relation to Venus, which the first week of December is still in your seventh house of other people, which is Capricorn. So with the combo of the Mercury retrograde and the Venus in the seventh house, there could be bosses, colleagues, contacts, connections from your past work life coming back with some sort of news, a reconnect maybe a do-over of some kind, news you can use, that sort of thing. Now, on December 7th, Venus moves into Aquarius, which is your eighth house of other people's money, taxes, inheritances, investments, mortgages, big money deals, all that type of thing. Pluto is going to be in this eighth house for you, Cancer, for the next 20 years. <laughs> but the moment Venus goes into Aquarius, she will meet up with Pluto. And when Venus and Pluto get together, it can be, uh, it can manifest in a couple different ways. It could be some interesting obsession about finances, but Pluto is power and when, and Venus is money. When they meet together, it can be some sort of very powerful money manifestation energy or powerful life-changing circumstance in regards to finances, to money, to resources. So what's interesting too is Pluto rules Scorpio, which is your fifth house of creativity, your fifth house of the entrepreneur, of taking a risk. So there could be some sort of important uh, money deal, a negotiation contract that may have to do with your creativity or a connection that gets made, a powerful connection of somebody who could transform, that's also the eighth house, transform your creative life in a profound way, as an example, help you monetize your creative works. That's another way this energy could manifest. Remember, always apply the energies to your life. But the potential is there, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, when Venus meets up with Pluto, for some very interesting financial transformation that could be going on. And it could also be you, you know, deciding you're going to really get serious now with investing, not financial advice, but maybe you decide, you know what, I got to start making my money work better for me. And maybe you take that action because it's all about using the energies to profoundly transform your life with your investments, eighth house. Okay. So all of that, excuse me, all of that is a possibility of how this may manifest. You could be making a profound transformation in terms of paying off a debt. That's also possible. And what's important here is uh, what's going on behind the scenes. What's going on with you emotionally? I will do a separate video for the full moon in Gemini, which is happening December 15th, the same day that Mercury goes direct. And this is your 12th house of the subconscious, of also the house of self undoing. So what I would advise with this energy, especially vis-a-vis -vis your money career life, and the Venus Pluto conjunction, which is happening, building up to the full moon in Gemini, is that you make sure that you are really aligned with any sort of big money deals or decisions that you're making right now. Of course, Mercury's retrograde. <laughs> so even if we make a decision and sometimes we can't stop the world, right? We have to make a decision. Sometimes we can't stop the world for astrology, but just know that, you know, it might be redone if you have to make a decision or and or really try to get as much clarity as you can so that you are really aligned with any sort of decisions you are making about long-term financial commitments, investments, decisions, big money deals and plays, you know, all of that, that you are really clear 
with what you're doing so that you do not make a choice that goes against what your gut is telling you. That's full moon 12th house. You don't, you know, you want to listen to your intuition. Of course, full moon is your energy. Moon is your energy, right? So you really want to make sure that you don't make a decision that goes against your gut or your best interests. Listen to yourself. And this goes for listening to yourself about any sort of big financial wheeling and dealing that may be happening. And of course, this financial wheeling and dealing may be coming back from your past because of Mercury retrograde in the sixth house of work. So it is possible. Okay, let's see what you need to know, Cancer. Let's pull some cards, then we'll pull an Oracle card, and then we'll do some more tarots. All right, let's see what you got going on. Cancer. What do we need to know for the Cancers? We have a four of coins. And we have a ton of coins. Talk about big money, big money deals, right? There you go. Judgment in your heart. Three of wands. And the knight of swords. Okay, so probably something happening at that full moon in Gemini that will need to be decided, you know, by, by the time we get into Capricorn season. So... We have financial security and stability. We have going from a four of coins to a 10 of coins. So this could be, you know, I have something in my hand, four of coins. It could just be $10, it could be $10,000, right? But I have some sort of resources in my hand that I would like to make grow 10 of coins to their fullest potential. This is long-term, right? And this idea of what can I do for my future with this three of wands here? How can I, how can I build my golden ship coming in through my decisions and how I handle my finances. Again, that Venus Pluto, big money deal situation. Judgment in your heart. You want to make the right decisions, but you also want to birth some sort of new financial reality into your life. So the 20th is going to be important, right? Before we get into the Capricorn season, we have the Knight of Swords, which is swift, very aligned, very focused. You know, this is what I'm doing. Energy. It could be contracts and commitments. It could be cutting something off, cutting something loose, selling something, buying something, uh, you know, movement in the market, so to speak, like something moving forward, a deal moving forward and moving forward with a lot of clarity and determination and cutting through red tape and cutting through delays. OK, so again, I, I give timings just to give a general sense of how something might you know, be percolating for you. Like kind of to be aware of. Of course, everybody has a different thing going on in their own lives. But I would say definitely we have the three here, third week. We have the judgment, the 20th. So I would say by the third week of December, um, you really need to have this money growth decision ironed out for yourself. You know, figure it out what you're doing uh, to invest, to grow, to refinance, whatever you're doing. Um Sure, it is possible that, you know, the ship that's coming in, is it has something to do with a new opportunity, right? It could be something from your past coming back because that Mercury retrograde till the 15th, like a, a job promotion you didn't get before, it's coming back around. And thus you're going from a four of coins to a 10 of coins situation if you choose to accept it, the judgment. Okay, so I think this is interesting. The other possibility here, for me, this is always end of March energy, the three of wands. So uh, it's possible that what you're deciding this month, the way you're deciding to move forward and grow your money and, and whatever you're deciding, even if you decide to grow your money by taking a better job, um, it's going to have further manifestations at the end of March into April also with this. So I think this is interesting, but once you make that decision, you know, everything will kind of move forward rather rapidly with the Knight of Swords here. Um, it is possible if you're dealing with a situation that involves some sort of legal battle, not legal advice. You know, this is just a general reading on YouTube tarot here, but there could finally be some sort of settlement or decision that comes in maybe the third week again by the third week. It is possible with this. So this to me can sometimes be fighting for your rights, Knight of Swords, especially in a legal sense. So, and with the judgment, some sort of judgment, like a legal case, right? A judgment in your favor. I mean, you know, we have to, I hope it's in your favor, right? But it's something here where, again, there's a negotiation 
or a fight. Somebody's offering four coins, but you want the 10 of coins. It could be some sort of negotiation like that. And it might not be in a legal sense. It could also be a contract that you're negotiating with a client, a corporation, you know, whatever. So it could be something like that that is going on as well for you. Because again, we got big money. We got Venus Pluto conjunct in that eighth house. You are dealing with big money. And remember, big money is relative. Like I said, right? Big money could be a thousand dollars. Big money could be ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, whatever. All right, let's see what else we have going on for you. Cancers. Let us see. Ooh, we have the Phoenix rising from the ashes. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, very Pluto. All right, very Scorpio. New career, ambition, rebuild, inspire, spotlight, and fire within. Beautiful. So yeah, let's pull some cards about that. So you are having, with that judgment card in your heart that we just pulled, you are having some sort of, you know, Phoenix rising from the ashes. That is the judgment card. Renaissance in your career life in your money life and your ambition could be lit you know your ambition could be lit for your career but your your ambition for your money too could be really on fire like you know i want to improve this from the four to the ten of pentacles all right let's see what we need to know spotlight let's see let's pull some cards for this cancer Three of coins, whoops, and the knight of pentacles, no reversals. High priestess in your heart, page of wands, and the eight of coins. Very, very nice. Um, You're kind of like waiting, but it's not waiting where you're just sitting around twiddling your thumbs. Um, You know, it's an active waiting, right? Um, it's an act of waiting where you are still focusing and visualizing your manifestation of what you want this thing to be. Okay, so new career, ambition, rebuild, inspire, fire lit from within. I mean, we have your um, your Virgo third house showing up here, which is creativity, writing with the eight of coins that's showing up. And that is a lot of huge focus and you can see here she is uh, sitting at her computer we have the three of coins again this virgo third house this is your mind this is making decisions this is a writing speaking teaching networking sales energy for you cancer so i think you know if you're an entrepreneur and you're involved in those areas there's going to be a renaissance for you this phoenix this rising from the ashes if something wasn't gelling and working i think something's going to start coming together for you um, in terms of your, just your work life, again, there is something here. High priestess in your heart. You are patiently focused on aligning. There's that intuition that I was talking about before with that full moon in Gemini in your 12th house of the intuition, right? Of the subconscious Knight of coins, like something is in process. The plan is in motion. It's just, the plan is a little slow. I feel this may have something to do with some sort of career change or job offer or a, a transfer at your current company or, or something you're doing currently that may change a little. Um, but it's underway. You know that it's underway. You sense it's underway. You've been focusing on making it happen. And here's the page of wands. I think, again, by that 20th, by the end of Sagittarius season, you will be that phoenix. And notice it's the fire here, the page of wands, where you will be... Uh, engaged with something new this eight of coins here again the virgo so all of a sudden there could be a lot of demand for your services um third house so again all of that type of energy the sales the marketing if you're a web designer here she is sh sitting at the computer whatever you're doing on the computer also very much in focus if you work a lot on your computer there's something where there may be some new tasks there may be again a promotion a new job like some new aspect of something you're already doing. I am also going to say this. Some of you may not like it, but some of you may, um, with this page of wands, the thing that may be happening is that you're going to have to go back to the office. If some of you have been working from home 
some of you may be going back to the office is what I feel because the high priestess is like she's hidden. Right, you work from home, like, yeah, they can track you on the computer and stuff, but, you know, you're kind of tucked away out of sight, priestess, right? You're just, you're kind of over there. But they watch you on the computer. You know they do, okay? So if that's been going on for a little while, like maybe the last three years even, right? Uh, something like that may be changing for you. And the phoenix could signal like some sort of adaptation that you may need to go through, Um with that but that doesn't apply to everybody that's just in general okay but i think i think this is very positive so some sort of it could be again a new career focus it doesn't mean you have to leave your current job it's just with this page of wands is eight of coins they could be assigning you some new tasks you could be maybe working with a new team a new group of people again this is a plan that's in motion you may already kind of be sensing that that's coming um so there may be a change in your immediate circle at work um, and you could get assigned to a new, a new situation, but it could be the making of you. It could be something very good for you. Uh, so, you know, keep an open mind about it, but you are sensing, you are sensing the changes to come, but you will rise like the Phoenix and, uh, and conquer. And so cancer, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on with you, with these energies, how you plan on using them in the month ahead, because that's what it's all about energies that hopefully you claim for yourself, you align with and use them to inspire manifestation of your wildest dreams when it comes to money and a career. I will, of course, be back with more videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell if you haven't already. I was looking at my analytics the other day. There's like, you know, 50% of people watching the channel who aren't subscribed. What is going on with that? Subscribing helps my channel out so much. So if you consider doing that, I would be uh, very grateful. I will be back with more videos for December. Can't wait. Exciting things on the way. So um, I hope you're all doing really well. And I will see you again soon. Stella Wild, signing out.